Hello Aquarius, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Aquarius, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Aquarius, what do we have for you? Show me Aquarius please. Show me important messages for Aquarius. Show me important messages for Aquarius. Show me important messages for Aquarius. apart all right so what i am seeing here aquarius that in this reading we might be connecting for you with someone who is very very stubborn this individual is you know it's it's quite difficult for them to compromise i'm getting this kind of energy of my way or no way attitude yeah person quite be um, quite a challenge I would say in order you know to kind of I feel this is someone who finds difficulty to kind of you know to meet halfway um, yeah this is someone who who wants to be in control Aquarius on your side we have bond I feel that you share very strong bond with this person and this is something that cannot be denied you just feel it and that's it it's difficult to explain you just feel it that way mutual energy we have last listen and also uh, rekindle and overall energy we have time apart so I feel that at the moment there might be a no contact situation between the two of you with this energy but it feels like there will be a opportunity and chance for both of you to reconnect okay to go back together um, to reconcile but there is a need uh, for this person to open up to you and to be willing to listen your opinions and your views this is it's it's not only it's like this person maybe they feel that they know best and you should just you know i kind of follow their lead but that's not the case here there is a need for compromise i feel that this very strong you know uh, the chemistry it's it's very intense let's say between the two of you I feel that both of you feel very passionate about each other and uh, at the end of the day I feel this person wants to rekindle this connection and I feel that you also would like to reconnect with this individual okay but let's see let's see Aquarius I had to check the time okay let's see Aquarius four of wands you might be dealing with twin flame you might be seeing 11 11 a lot when you think about this person let's see let's see that energy is something here ended you might be dealing with scorpio aquarius queen of cups we have this person has feelings for you though okay let's see yes we know we know we know spirit <laughs> okay could you please show me this person's energy and their feelings towards aquarius and disconnection please page of pentacles ace of swords
tell me more the world Queen of Swords mm. they want to talk the full mm -hmm. hanged man five of swords nine of pentacles and five of cups you might be dealing with pisces aquarius i also have aries and a fixed energy like yours so it might be another aquarius scorpio taurus leo at the bottom of the deck we have magician gemini Virgo energy as well it's showing up so far in this reading for you you can expect here that this person will reach out if indeed there is a time apart or this if this connection is facing at the moment time apart and there is no contact situation they will reach out with the page of pentacles you can expect that this person will send you a very casual message so something like hi how have you been i hope you are i, I hope you are well or simple hello ace of swords i feel this is someone here who wants to uh clear the air with you because this is a major energy of uh, of bringing clarity to the situation uh, this is someone who really wants to talk this person here feels unfinished business with you with the world they don't want the situation to end <laughs> because we have the full okay this is someone who wants to essentially come back around and that's it with the hanged man they want they want to try again a uh, queen of swords yes i feel that you're dealing here with someone who can be momentarily quite cold and quite assertive to the point of being very very stubborn so this is something that this person needs to work on five of swords and nine of wands and five of cups the thing is that this person feels unsure I feel that you're dealing here with someone who might kind of um, projecting an image of, of a person who is very ambitious, very charismatic and very kind of sure of themselves. But deeply inside this person, uh, it's full of insecurities. And the thing about this situation is that with the five of swords and nine of wands and five of cups, it feels like this person here has regrets they did something with the five of swords i feel that this person at some point they lied or they were very manipulative here and they played the mind games uh with 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 regards to this connection and with you and um with the five of cups it's like this person is aware that they uh that they are the reason why for instance this connection might indeed facing time apart it, it was they doing cross watcher of course the roles can be rever reversed uh, but and with the nine of wands I feel very strongly because it's very interesting because five of swords is this energy of self-sabotage this person sabotage this connection and with the nine of wands it's like they are facing here the music it's like they are facing the repercussions of their actions and with the five of cups they are full of regret they might be showing you know a completely different attitude but deeply inside this person is uh is not happy for what they have done it's like th they realize that uh, uh it didn't give them the desired result it backfired at them and with the nine of wands this is someone who also taking into account that you might have trust issues because of this five of swords and five of cups energy because at some point it feels like this person lied they had secrets and they played mind games they were very very manipulative and i feel that this person also at some point played some sort of kind of victim card here and it was, you know, every time when you maybe tried to put your point across or when you tried to kind of uh, convince this person that maybe it's best way to do this, this, you know, that way. Maybe it's it's just when you tried to kind of convince this person to take into account your view, 
I feel that this person was uh, was very manipulative and it's something about them playing a victim card and playing uh, some sort of kind of um, playing on a certain um, a certain situation that they've experienced from the past and it's like you know and when this person was kind of you know doing that you I feel that you uh, took a step back and kind of said oh okay all right so let's do it your way Fair, okay okay and I feel they were doing it on purpose in order to have a control over the situation and they know that you know they are the reason that at the moment indeed that the state of affairs regarding this connection might not be uh, perfect let's <laughs> let's 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 word it that way we have the magician at the bottom of the deck so you, for sure you can expect this person to come forward to reach out and they will try everything they will try everything to reconnect and reconcile with you yes they will try to uh, <laughs> use every trick they have you know they try to pull every trick under their sleeve i don't know if if uh, if that's the right expression you know what i mean it's just like but i have this it's like i feel this person will try to do everything for you to change your mind to convince you that they deserve another chance and that this connection deserves another chance yeah it's like they will be taking these ideas you know <laughs> metaphorically saying let's see yeah very charismatic quite good looking person i would say or they have this you know x factor could you please show me aquarius's energy and their feelings towards this person and this connection please nine of cups nice page of cups the devil interesting you might be dealing with capricorn the star we have your energy aquarius the emperor you might be dealing with another Aquarius. I also have Aries. This is very interesting energy. Seven of Swords. Uh, sorry, Seven of Wands. Knight of Cups. Aquarius. Uh, the most important message here with the nine of cups is that you will get what you want you're manifesting your wish regarding this connection a uh, this page of cups i feel that you are open for communication you are open for the idea of reconciliation however and this is very important you are in your energy and with the emperor i'm getting very strongly that you are taking back control with the devil energy, I'm seeing very strongly here, Aquarius, that this person might have my head at some point get under your skin. And I feel that uh, you might be a little, let's say, a little bit, yeah, for the argument's sake, let's say it that way, that you might be a bit, a bit annoyed, agitated, and even angry how they treated this connection and but the most important thing when i look at this energy the devil the star the emperor and a seven of wands i feel that you are going to be very assertive they might be coming with this energy but at the end of the day you are in control aquarius the star and the emperor it's your energy and that it's you know being in control seven of wands it's uh i'm going to protect what i believe I'm going to put my point across and I'm not going to be silent, silenced 
You know what I mean. You're not going to do that because I. it might be a case that you are coming from the place I've let you s for so long to kind of... Uh, to try to be in control, but enough it's enough. I feel that yes, you have a soft spot for this person. I feel that you do have feelings for them with the Knight of Cups. If this person approaches you in the right way, you are willing to, to reconcile with this individual. I feel that you do have feelings for them. And you know, ideally you would like this person to, to, to be open for collaboration in the sense of, you know, to stop being so kind of uh, controlling and to to kind of make an effort in order to understand where you're coming from and to build a nice partnership. But I don't see you agreeing for anything less than you deserve, not with this energy, because this person pushed their luck. Uh huh. And you are taking back control. Yes, if this person... And I feel, you know, I, I'm getting that you are coming from the place of kind of fairness. Because enough, it's enough. And it takes a strong character to kind of stood up for what you truly believe. And, you know, vocalize this opinion. But, again, I'm getting very strongly Aquarius. And, I, and please, cross watches, the roles can be reversed. But I feel Aquarius that you are kind of coming from the place that the ball is in this person's court. If they want to make amends, I am I am open for the possibility to listen to them. And, you know, I'll be perfectly um, polite with regards to this. But it doesn't change the fact how I've been feeling for a long time regarding this person's behavior and how they they've been towards this connection and maybe even towards you. But if they approach this situation in the right way, well, we'll see. I'm getting that kind of energy from you. We'll see. I'm not saying no. I feel Aquarius. But this person really pushed their luck. And what I am also seeing, you having very, very strong and healthy boundaries, which is a good thing. Because this is someone who has a tendency to, you know to try their luck and it's like what is the saying uh, metaphorically saying someone gives someone like a hand someone who wanted to take another hand you know what I mean that sort of kind of thing it's just a metaphor <laughs> very poor metaphor <laughs> made by me but but I'm seeing it being very powerful and kind of making a very strong, assertive point here. So show me the outcome. Could you please show me the outcome for the near future regarding this connection, Aquarius, with this person? Six of wands, they're coming. They want your attention, Aquarius. This is someone who will be giving your attention and they want your attention. And I'm getting very, very strongly three of cups. I'm getting very strongly that they want to win you over. Mm -hmm. They want success. Oh, interesting. Four of swords at the bottom of the deck. So I see this person taking initiative. They coming with, with communication indeed. And I see actually both parties here talking. Uh, this person here will be, I feel that they will try to present themselves in the best pos possible way. They might be even telling you that recently they've kind of achieved something. But I'm seeing that this person wants your attention and they will be giving you a lot of attention. Three of cups here as a bonding energy. This is an energy of reconciliation, you know. So it kind of, it's a double confirmation that that what might happened between the two of you that is very very big possibility that uh, this person and you both of you will reconnect and actually um, you will share moments of happiness and joy eight of cups on your side this is very interesting 
what I am seeing here, Aquarius, that you've, I feel that you are open to give this person a chance. But as soon as this person would start showing you their old ways and being very, very kind of, you know, stubborn and controlling, you will have no, you will have no problem walking away from them. Because um, I feel that it's like an ultimatum. I'm seeing reconciliation happening, both of you coming together and actually, you know, celebrating that moment. But there will be a condition I'm getting from your side. It's just, you know, stop acting that way. You know, it's just us talking. I, I don't feel that you, maybe you will say those words, but you know what I mean. It's I feel that you are coming from that place, that this person needs to change the attitude. They need to drop the attitude. Oh, that's the bottom line here. Because otherwise you will walk away. And that's like, a you know, I'm not saying that it will happen. But it's like a sign that you will have no problem to distance yourself. Because if something doesn't make you happy, doesn't make you happy. And you are so strong that you are not cleany. You might feel this bond with this person. You might have soft spot for them. You might even love them. But if this person will not use that opportunity and chance given by you, then for, I feel like where is it for you? It will be clear that, well, if, if that's what they can't do and they are unable to compromise, stop being that controlling and using manipulation, then I'll just walk away. Because, it, it, it's, because essentially it's not working. It doesn't make me happy on emotional level. And I feel that, again, you are showing here this energy that it's not cleany. You, you know, I feel that you are open to give this person a chance. If they choose this chance correctly, if they kind of learned their lesson, then that's fine. You, I feel that you're coming from the place that, yes, we can build a beautiful relationship. Because obviously the energy is there between the two of us. But... If not, then I feel you will have no problem walking away from them. Yeah, very strong. Four of Cups as an overall energy for this reading. I feel that at the moment you are healing from something here that might have occurred regard within this connection. But this is also this energy of no contact or you kind of taking a break from this connection in order to rethink and reevaluate a certain aspect of this situation. Mm -hmm. or it might also indicate that you know contact is still minimum as, as, as we were talking about it throughout this reading but time apart with the four of swords is this no contact situation but that will change this person here it's coming back in order to have this reconciliation and it feels like it's possible uh, for both of you to indeed to to reconnect however this person really needs to show you that that they've learned their lesson because otherwise I feel that you will have no problem walking away from that situation because you've learned your lesson the question is if this person le learned theirs if if they did then I'm getting that you can create a very nice relationship very very nice but only time only time will tell Nevertheless, yes, expect this person to reach out indeed because they do want reconciliation. Aquarius, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Aquarius, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.